If you spend a lot of time working on these old cars and old trucks, you know that rusty parts can be a really big problem. And not all of us have sandblasters or tumblers or have the access to that kind of stuff. And if you're in a pinch, I've got a solution to help you get rid of rust right down the street at the grocery store. Doesn't cost you a lot of money and it's something you can do at home. We're gonna take Betty White. Let's see what we're gonna go get. All right, so we went to the Dollar General. Check it out. Dollar General. And we got white vinegar. This is 5%. I think you can actually hunt around and find something that's a little stronger, but I promise you this is gonna work. So now that we're back from the dollar store, you wanna get you a plastic container that's big enough your parts will fit in. Take your white vinegar and fill that sucker up. full of vinegar. Now we're just going to take our parts and set them in here and try to make sure the bulk of the rusty parts are submerged. You can spin these around a little bit, but we're going to set these in here, make sure they're all wet. We're going to get us a good sealing lid of some sort to put on here to keep evaporation away. We're going to let these sit for 24 hours. One thing I do want to mention, I'm going to save all my jugs of vinegar so that after we're done with this, we can use a funnel and put that back in there and try to store it and save it because it'll still be good as long as you don't leave it sitting out. But if you leave it sitting out, it's going to evaporate and be no, it's going to lose its strength. Check out how I got all this submerged. I stuck something underneath this tub so that my parts were fully submerged underneath the vinegar. Now I'm going to take me some body shop plastic and I'm going to wrap the top of this and we're going to let it sit for 24 hours. And there's how I wrapped it up to seal it up. So now we just gotta wait on old father time. Just like that, it's been 24 hours, y'all. Our parts have been sitting overnight, wrapped in plastic, in the vinegar. Let's get them out and see what they look like. Oh, take a look. You can already see the rust is starting to just flake right off of there. You can see where the metal is was covered in rust and now it's flaking off. They still look like they haven't done much, but now we're gonna take them over to the pressure washer and it's just gonna be like a magic eraser for us. Check this out. That's the easiest way ever to get rust off, man. I mean, check it out. You can see this one still has some of it on there, but that's a brand new part. If you remember what it looked like yesterday, too easy guys and you get it at the dollar store. You remember I told you yesterday to save your bottles because that vinegar is still good if you'll put it up. You can put it back in the bottles, you can filter it if you want or not. As long as you keep it from the air, it won't evaporate all its potency away and you got this vinegar for your next project. Filtered. Filtered. filtered pickle juice. It is. I wouldn't use this roof. You might get a, what's it called? What happens when you get a rust in you? Tetanus. tetanus. Shot. You need to get a tetanus shot. Now, I will tell you, for these parts that you treat in vinegar, you definitely, I, I'm not gonna say you definitely, I'm gonna tell you what I do. I usually go get some osphos, some phosphoric acid, some rust killer. Um, we get the gym rust killer. Sherwin-Williams carries it. I believe Lowe's carries it too. But I'm gonna treat these with rust killer because they flash rust super quick. And I'll show you, even now, you can see that red tint to them. That is like a flash rusting uh, surface rust. And we wanna try to knock that out too. So we'll go ahead and spray them with some phosphoric acid, then neutralize that, and then we can scuff them up and paint them. 